This lesson is about borderlines and printing. Right, what we're going to do here is we're going to draw a frame around this drawing that we're going to start um, so as to give somebody a place where they can put their dirty thumbs when they are going to use a drawing. So, step number one is we're going to measure off 10 millimeters from the edges of the pieces of paper. The way I'd do that is I'd set a pair of dividers to 10 millimeters and I'd just measure off 10 millimeters from the edges of the page. If you see 10, the edge of the page, just measure off 10, 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters. And after I've done that, I can now draw a draw construction construction lines around this. Construction lines are very, very faint lines. You shouldn't really be able to see that too clearly. All right. 10 millimeters away from the edge of the page, construction lines in all, just off the edges of, of the page. Right, very, very faint lines. After you've done that, you're then going to take much darker, what you call border lines, very much thicker and darker going from corner to corner of your construction lines that you just laid down. Make sure that the corners all line up beautifully. Right, you can see that the corners, they don't overlap each other, they match up beautifully and they're all 10 millimeters from the edges of the piece of paper. Once we've done that, you are then going to measure off, using your dividers again, a little title block which is going to be 12 millimeters high. So you measure up 12 millimeters over here, make a mark and draw another dark line going all the way across the page. Right, everybody can see that? Good. Right, after that, you're then going to measure off 70 millimeters using a pair of dividers, 70 millimeters, and you're going to mark off 70 millimeters on this side and 70 millimeters on this side. Once you've done that, you're then going to take a set square and draw a little name block in here and a scale block in here leaving you with a very much bigger block in the center called your title block right in this block over here as I say you're going to put your name right what you're going to do is you're going to measure off a small measurement of two millimeters Slightly up from that, three millimeters, two millimeters, three millimeters, and at the end of the day, you'll have two, three, two, three, two. Right, you can't even see those little lines that I drew there. The reason being is that they are construction lines. But when I start writing between those lines, you'll note that because I'm touching the top and the bottom of the line, my writing will all be identical. My name is G A Cummins C O M I N S Obviously when you do your exercises you write your name in that slot Once you've got that you can then write in your grade either over here or over here I'm going to do it over here G R for grade and you are grade 9 so you write in grade 9 if you are in grade 9a well then you'd write in grade 9a right once you've got that you must then write in the date the date today is the 14th 14 of 1st of 2016. Obviously, if the date has changed, 
you must write in the date that you are doing this drawing on. Right, you will note that all my writing is precisely the same height. In this block over here, you're going to measure up three and a half millimeters and then five millimeters, which gives you a three and a half millimeter gap at the top there, and you can write in there border. R D E R. In this little block over here, you are going to write in scale. Most of the drawings you will do this year will be done scale 1 is to 1. That can also change. Hope everybody's happy with that.